Hello, hello. Anybody there? Just tagging a few people. How's everybody doing tonight? Anybody there? Hi, Kathy. See, I knew somebody would be there right on time. Good job. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll give it a second. Maybe some... Other people will jump on. Otherwise, it's just you and I coloring. Oh, there's Cheryl. Look at your cute doggie <clears throat> on your picture. My poor baby is recovering from surgery today. Um, Hello, hello. So I chose, it's your birthday for tonight. It's your birthday. Because it is back in stock. Yay! And these, I'm going to do cake and ice cream. Because why? Because I just ate cake and ice cream. <laughs> and it was so yummy. It was vanilla cake, of course. If you watched my live last night, you know what I'm talking about. I like vanilla cake. Alright, so... Let's get started and see who else jumps in. So I'm going to use my Memento ink. Hi, Ranska. And I already put my, my little stamps on here. And I have dies to match. So after we color them tonight, I'll be able to cut them out so we can make cards with them on Friday after we color some baby dragons. So Friday's live might be a little longer than normal, but I think Friday's... <clears throat> it's a little bit easier for me to do a longer live on Fridays because I don't have to get up in the morning. Yay! Yay me! Sleep in on Fridays. Woohoo! So, I chose to... I thought it would be easy to kind of color them at the same time and sort of keep them close in colors so that we can put them on the same card. One with a big birthday cake. And one with ice cream, because cake and ice cream are fabulous. So, let's go ahead and stamp these gals up. I'm using Sweet Sentiment Paper and my Memento Ink. Oh, you love a longer live. See, there you go. You're going to be happy as a clam on Friday. So, Friday, we're going to make cards with the cute little guys we colored up last night. These ones we're coloring up tonight. And then we're going to do some baby dragon stuff on Friday. So, yeah, tonight I switched up and I'm using my purple espresso here to press on my Misty. I have two Misties. This is the 8.5 by 11 one. I really like it, but my, um, my little Misty... The little mini size so if you don't have them this is the mini size it fits right inside the big one but currently on my mini look I just made my magnet stick to the back of my misty um, my current one has something set up for the make and take so this is set up on there perfectly so I can stamp it here and then flip the paper and it stamps in exactly the same place so I have to leave that like that because I have to do a whole bunch more of the make and takes. I mean, uh, it's actually Jamie's card class. <clears throat> oh, today, let's see. My day was pretty good today. Um, it was a little bit frustrating because I had some doctor uh insurance crap i had to go through today and you know it's never fun when you have to call your insurance company and then i had to take jack to the vet he went for teeth cleaning and then to have those cysts removed that i don't know i told you guys a while back he had one and it got all infected and i had to take him to the vet and that's when they discovered the heart murmur and all that 
fancy schmancy stuff. So I took him in today and they had to extract a tooth, which I'm sure he was not happy about. And I hate insurance stuff too. And he got several cysts removed, so he has a bunch of stitches like all over. One in his back, his neck, on his side. It's very sad, and he looks very sad. He's drugged out right now so that he won't be in any pain. And he's laying at my feet, so he won't be by himself. Yeah, I got very frustrated with the insurance company today. I'm pretty sure that lady was just had had enough of me by the end of our conversation. <laughs> yeah, he's... He's, he ate, so that's good, because she said if you can get him to eat, that would be great. And he did. He ate about a fourth of what he usually eats, but I was able to put his meds in it, so that makes him better. Hi, Sonny. Um, and so he's doing pretty good right now, but he's sleeping at my feet. Poor little guy. He's having a rough night. But he'll be all better. He'll be all better when he heals up. But they shaved his fur, you know, so they could do those incisions and stuff. So he's looks like he's got splotches all over him. Splotches of no fur. Like four-year-old virgin. Like, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this apart really quick. Just because I think when I zoom in, you won't be able to see both of them. You'll only be able to see one of them. So if I cut them, I'll have more control over what you can see or what you can't see. So there we go. So we have two. We're going to color them both tonight. And we'll make the cards on Friday. So that'll be awesome. Anybody who joined the live last night but had to get jump off early, these are what we colored last night. So these are our little um these are our little cake monsters right here. Icing on the cake is what it's called. He does look like he's been through war. Poor little guy. He he really does look a little rough. I was a little bit surprised. I think she could tell when she brought him to me. I was like, oh my gosh. He's got patches of no fur all over him. So, and he had, had to have one of his canines taken out. So that has to be really painful. On top of the fact that she said it had to come out because he had an infection in there so they had to fix his sinuses and stuff poor guy he's got sinus issues just like his mama <laughs> but i got him all fixed up he's gonna be better he just needs some time jamie won't be joining us tonight again because she is still not feeling well so there's that Okay, so I'm going to do both of these, so enough about all my personal crap. So, <laughs> we're going to jump right into coloring these, and we're going to do both of the girls' skin tones at the same time. I want to put them both on a card together. Yeah, she got food poisoning the other day, and she's been really, really sick. So, I've been covering everything, so no problems there. And keeping in touch, she's been keeping me updated, so she just feels like she got hit by a truck. But other than that, she's starting to recover. He did go through a lot today. Poor guy. I mean, I we were trying to do it all at one time so he wouldn't have to go under the knife again. Because <clears throat> it's just, it's always scary when you do that. And um, we were trying to keep all of that situated, but... Now I kind of feel bad because he's gone through so much. Yes, poor Jamie. She is. She was not feeling very well at all. But I think she's she's going to get better now. So I'm praying, hoping, praying she'll be bouncing back before long. So I chose E04, E11, E21, E00, and R11. And E triple zero. Oh, my little baby is a Chihuahua. Part Chihuahua, part Dachshund. 
So he's kind of silly looking a little bit. He's got the body of a dachshund, so really big chest and a teeny tiny head like a chihuahua, but really big ears like a dachshund. <laughs> chihuahua ears. Yeah, but they stand, I mean, they stand straight up like chihuahua, but they're longer like a dachshund. Chihuahua ears are about a third the size of his. <laughs> but he's cute as a button to me. But he's a little silly. And uh, he's sweet. Even the doctor, I got my checkout message from the doctor and she said, Jack is just the sweetest thing ever and he did so good. So that made me really happy. Okay, so we're going to start with E000. Yeah, Chewinies are cute. He's really cute. He's about 15 pounds now, but when I got him, he could fit in your little pocket. He was so tiny. He's a big boy now. He's not moving around much, but he keeps opening his eyes because he hears me talking about him. He's drugged up right now, so not moving around much. I've been trying to stay in one place because you know how they are when they love you so much they don't want they get up every time you get up. Yeah, we were worried about Jack too. Oh my goodness, 3.7 pounds. Holy cow, that is a little one. So yeah, they asked me, I was telling Dale yesterday, I was like, I can't believe they asked me this, but they asked me, <clears throat> they were like, so do you want, I do not resuscitate if something happens or do you want us to do CPR? I'm like, is that really a question? Uh, yeah, I want you to do CPR and I want you to make sure my dog doesn't go in that situation. <laughs> A chihuahua, he's 4.2 pounds. Yeah, Jack is stocky like a dachshund. So he's, he doesn't look fat. He's just big, like stocky looking. But a little bitty head. <laughs> Poor little guy. So we're going to use, hi Joy. We're going to use E04 for the shadow area on this little girl's face. I don't like to do it right under her glasses because I really think the glasses reflect the light so it won't be it won't be as dark under there. That didn't really make sense, did it? That would mean it would be darker. Anyway, I wear glasses and I don't think it's darker under my glasses than outside of my glasses, but whatever. That could just be my imagination. And I'm rolling with it, so we're okay. But yeah, <clears throat> he's a cutie, and he did really, really well, so I'm super happy about that. Although it did make me a little nervous when she said, well, he's, he's just an old guy, so you probably won't have to do another teeth cleaning on him. I was like, what does that mean? Does that mean their teeth don't? get bad when they're old or are you trying to tell me something else because I don't think I really want to hear that so anywho oh my gosh two pounds I can't even imagine my dog being that light he came out today and of course he was not walking when I picked him up <clears throat> and um he, they handed him to me, and I was like, oh, he's so heavy. <laughs> Two, 2009? So what does that make him? 2009? 2022? 13 years. Huh? 13 years. 13 years. Jack is 13. He's about to be 13 in July. I rescued him from somebody who couldn't keep him once they had him as a, their little puppy. And I just fell in love with him because he fit in my pocket and he was so cute. And I spoiled him really bad so I used to um, always kiss his little cheeks all the time because he was so tiny. 
And now when I pick him up, he just lays his cheeks on my face. <laughs> it's like just a, it just really stuck. Hi, Natalie. So we're coloring the ice cream girl first, but we're going to do all the skin at one time. So we don't have to pull the markers out again after we put them away. <clears throat> And I figured, you know, this way I capture everyone's birthday because <clears throat> it can be our unbirthday. 11 pounds is 15. Aww. Seven. I wish I could make my dog go backwards in age. So he would be around forever and ever and ever. He's doing really good, though, other than his minor issues right now. Generally, he's a pretty healthy dog. I'm going to go ahead, and before I move on to the next color, I'm going to put some rosy cheeks in here because I want her cheeks to stay a little more rosy than I usually do. So I'm putting them in a little bit earlier than we usually do. But <clears throat> I may go over them again. <clears throat> I seem to have a frog in my throat tonight. I don't know what the daily O is with that. Probably all the rainy weather we had today. It was very rainy today, but I'm glad it was today, and I hope it's not tomorrow, because I'm going with Haley and Cooper to Six Flags tomorrow. We're going to take Cooper because he hit 42 inches tall. So he can ride all the little kitty rides. All of them. And even some of the bigger rides. So we are going to take him tomorrow. For, just for fun. And I'm super excited about that. So I really hope it doesn't rain. Because we already bought tickets. He's about one pound. So you fell in love with him. So you kiss him all the time on the cheeks? I mean, I swear, he just so knows that that's what I do. And he was so funny today when I took him to the vet. I came home and I was telling Dale because it was so funny. So I don't take him in the car very often because he just wants to sit on my lap and I can't drive. I can't drive when he's um, on my lap. So I don't take him in the car too often. So today... When I took him to go to the vet, I put a little blanket on the seat and everything. And he was a good boy on the way over there. But when we got out of the car, he was walking on his leash, all tootling, like happy. I could just see the inside smile on his face. And um, we got up to the door and I opened the door and he immediately stopped. And then very slowly started backing up. And <laughs> Like, he knew he was at the vet, and I was like, I had to pick him up to get him inside, because he just did not want to go inside the vet. I'm going back in again with my R11 now to bring those cheeks back out before I go in with the triple zero. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be clear and nice, but we'll see. I hope it is. What? <laughs> Dale's sewing and he stuck himself in the finger with the needle he's using. Don't you know you're supposed to use one of those thumb things, those finger things, so you don't do that? <clears throat> hey, Mama. So, anywho, now you know about my little baby Jack. He's recouping well. <clears throat> And we'll keep our eyes on him. Hey, Mama. So we just we just did the skin tones for this sweet girl. And now I'm going to do the next one. I decided to zoom in just a little bit more. Just because I thought it would be helpful. So I'm going to leave this one over here as long as I can. So you can see that one too. While we're working. She's got pretty, I like how her skin came out. <clears throat> so now we're going to do it. Same one for this one. 
he did know something was going to occur. I know it kind of made me sad. I felt really bad. <laughs> he did not want to go in there. <clears throat> I think he just knows it's the vet now. And it usually is never fun at the vet. Just like it's never fun at the doctor's office. He oh, I think I'm going to get the hiccups now. <clears throat> Hi, Becky. As if the frog in my throat wasn't enough. Now I have the hiccups. And I'm trying really hard not to hiccup while I'm talking. My goodness. As soon as I put this bottom skin tone in, I'll take a drink and maybe that'll help. <clears throat> maybe that'll help. Oh my gosh. I hate the hiccups. I'm going to go ahead and put this light color in her mouth. You know how I, li I like to put the darkest color in there? Y'all are going to think that, you're, that your feet is freezing because when I hiccup, I stop talking. <laughs> oh, there it is. <sighs> All right, I took something to drink. Maybe it'll stop. But then again, maybe not. Oh, I just put these in upside down. All right, so we're on E04 now, and this is the one that I like to put in the back of her mouth. Oh, man, if I hiccup when I'm coloring, that's going to be a bad thing because <laughs> I almost just messed up her mouth, her mouth doing the hiccup. I think I'm shaking the screen, too. Sorry. need to get rid of these hiccups. <clears throat> Look at that big old cake. If you think about people in regular size, that cake's as big as that woman is. That's the best cake ever. Hi, Becky. Oh, let's go ahead and do it all at the same time. I usually don't do it all at the same time. I usually break it up. But I figured since we're doing two of them, we'll just go ahead and wing it. We'll just wing it. Okay. E11 is next. And I really am pushing that color back instead of pulling it forward. <clears throat> I sometimes do that with skin tone, but not most most times when I color I pull instead of pushing. But I think in the skin tone realm of things, I like the deep, dark color. Yes, I have to take mine to the vet to clip, her, clip his nails, too. And I can't even take him to any of the other places because... <laughs> I can't take him to any of the other places because they won't see him anymore. Because he just freaks out. So I still have to take him to the vet. But he's really good for the vet. But anybody else? He doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Yeah, you're heading back to Texas tomorrow. Yay! I know you've been gone a long time. By the way, my massage got canceled the other day, so I haven't been yet, Madre, in case you decide you want to try to squeeze it in before I leave town. I don't know if that'll happen, but I have a new date, so let me know if you want to know that information so we could go together. E21 is next. 
think this is the point where I added the cheeks on the last one, so I'm going to pause and use my R11 to put her little cheeks in so she can look have big rosy cheeks like the other girl. I mean, they are kind of the same, same girl, but... And the cheeks look obnoxious when you do it like this. <laughs> but it will all work out in the end. No fear. We're just going to keep coloring. Because we got this. And it's only paper. If it messes up, we have more paper. So no worries. I always try to have two or three packs of paper before I place my next order. I don't like to get lower than that because, ooh, if I run out, I'd be so happy. You can do it tomorrow, but you have this tool that sucks onto the tub and wrote peanut butter and he was too busy to care. <laughs> yeah, I can't even give Jack any treats or anything for a while. And he did smell, like when he breathed on me, he did smell like antiseptic. I was like, ooh. You know, like that feeling you have after you have surgery. It's gross. I was like, oh, he's got a lot of that in his system right now. Oh, and those who had rain today, like me, you can appreciate this issue I had tonight. So, I heard, I heard somebody knock on my door. And so, I went to check the door, and it was the UPS guy or USPS, whatever. Somebody delivered me a box, right? And I was super excited. And then I look over, and someone had already delivered a box earlier today, but they left it outside of the awning over the porch so it was completely wet the whole box i was so upset because i knew by looking at who it came from that somebody had sent me a bunch of books for cooper and i knew they were going to be all wet so i was very disappointed by that i did take them out and i'm drying them out now i hope they're not going to wrinkle up too much but I was very sad by that. At least the second person put it in the right, put the package in the right spot and then knocked on the door so I could at least go out there and get it. But the other one, rude. Rude, rude, rude. Look at that. Now we have skin tone done on two, not just one, but two girls. Hee <laughs> hee. They're going to be super happy. She's got a little bit lighter in here, that, but I think when this one dries, she'll be lighter too. Or maybe too light right there. <laughs> He's looking up at me. You okay? I cleaned all his blankets while he was at the bed. Got him all ready. Okay, oops. Alright, so now we get now we get to do some hair. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna do some red hair tonight. Oh wait, my red color. Yeah, we're going to do a different red than we normally do. So let me see. Let's do this one. And this one. Put some of this one in there. Now let's put... I don't know, I'm just randomly picking colors, you guys. It's going to turn out, though. I just know it. <laughs> I just feel confident. Alright. 
Let's do the blend test because I've just picked a crap ton of colors that I don't usually use. So I think I'm going to put some black in it and some R59. This is going to be crazy hair. And R46. So that looks a little bit like black and red. But then I'm going to come in with YR27 to kind of give it a little bit of a yellow orangey color. And then back to R24. Oh, voila. That's super pretty. We're going to do that. That's how we're going to do our hair. We're probably going to do our hair the same on both girls. Maybe. So this is a weird combo. I'm starting out with C10, and then I'm going to go to R59, then R46, Y, R27, and then R24. So very crazy, but super fun. Okay, so just a little bit of this C10, I think. She'll look like she has... Highlights? Do they call them highlights if they're black? Okay, so just a little bit of the C10, and then we're going to go into R59. Yeah. doesn't fit right on that other side. Then R46. This is technically the true color because it's the third one in the combo. But we'll see how that turns out. I like this red color. We could keep going with the red, but then what phone would that be? So we're going to throw in some YR27, which is Tuscan Orange, and I think it's really just going to make this so pretty. This hair is so pretty. And then we're going to finish it off by coming back to the reddish tone with R24. She looks like she has a lot of highlights in her hair. What do you think? Pretty, huh? Who'd have thought that had yellow, a YR color in it? Let's do this one the same, because that was super fun. I want to do it again. And then that'll give you guys the opportunity to see it one more time. So starting with C10, we're going to put just a little bit, like right here where this hair kind of parts right there we're going to just put some of this black color in there we're going to come this way just a little bit there we go like that red color, Mom? It makes me think of your hair. Look at that. So pretty. R59. Maybe our next color. A little bit from this angle as well. keep putting this one on the wrong end and it doesn't fit on the other end okay R46 this is the one that's 
quite a bit more red red. And the true color, so we have to be use that one quite a bit. Oh, I should have gave her a ponytail. All these thoughts after the fact. Why are 27? This is going to be proof that you can't color things to look exactly the same. Every time you do it, it looks different. <laughs> same color combo, way different color hair. R24. You like the way I color hair? Thank you. So this one, there we go. So now she has her hair. I got a little wonky with that one strip right there. She's got a hair out of place. Oh my gosh. Let's go back in with our 59 and fix that. We'll just put some extra streaks in there. Maybe that'll help. There we go. So much better. It's better. All right. So now we have hair. Two beautiful hair tones. And they both look different. This one is darker. This one is lighter. Same colors. Different effect. Kind of awesome. Okay, I'm going to pull the um, E04 and the R11 out one more time because I need to do her tongue. So I'm going to just touch the back of her tongue with this color and then I'm going to blend it out with the R11 like what I used on her cheeks just to make her tongue light. Light, light pink. Okay. So now we have that part done. Look, they're backwards. They're supposed to be like this. That's how they're going to be on the card like this. Like, yay. All right. So let's work on the ice cream cone because we know we're going to have to do that. Now I'm going to make it a little bit darker, like a darker waffle cone type color. So I'm going to use E39, E37, 35, and 33. If I need to, I'll come in with 31, but I think that's going to be too light. So I'm going to stick with the darker shades. So this is 39, and I am going to first go along where the artist drew the lines. And then I'm going to go under the ice cream, because you know it'll be hanging over the cone. And then I'm going to do this little part right here that's in her hand. And then these lines the artist put on here. And then I'm going to go in with E37. And when I do 37, I'm going to put some more lines in there that the artist did not draw in there just because I like them that way. So I'm going to just extend these out and then I'm going to add some more of my own lines in there. And I also want them to go this way. So I can get some more waffle cone look out of this. And then E35. And this is the one that I'm going to fill in mostly outside to make it look more rounded. A little bit of shadowing under here. And then the rest of it I'll fill in with the last color, which is the E33. I need to put this 35 with it. I need to clean it real bad. This is the 35. 
I was going to clean markers tomorrow, but I think I'll be at Six Flags. I'm still planning on being home, though, to do my live tomorrow night. You know, because Coop has to go to bed early, so. Okay, ice cream, ice cream. I think we should make some crazy ice cream colors. So, let's do one blue, like cotton candy. So, definitely going to use that 52 from yesterday, the one that we used yesterday, because I really like that blue color. And then, with that one, I think I'm going to do B37 and B06. So those are going to be my three colors and the B52. For the um, cotton candy ice cream. And then we definitely have to have some strawberry-ish color because there's a lot of pink um, colored ice cream. So our 85, 83, and 81. So our 85, 83, and 81 will do ice cream in that color. And then why not put some mint in there? So we will do the colors we did yesterday. So we're going to do the YG 45, 41, and 11. So we're going to have pink and green and blue ice cream. Yay! And the bottom one is going to be cotton candy, and that's going to be the one that's going to be the, the most used color because it's my favorite one in this combo. So B37, B06. That's B37, B06, and B52. So 37 is first. You guys are mighty quiet tonight. We, was, we were talking about dogs, and then everybody got quiet. So up here where this ice cream is hanging over. Anybody coloring these girls with me? You know what we're doing tomorrow is baby dragons. If you don't have them, they're back in the shop. You can go get them. Well, you probably won't get them by the show. I mean, by the time I color them. But... Wait till you see me color them. It's hard for me to color uh, the baby dragons without coloring them all. Because I like them so much. But I think I'm just going to choose one, maybe two. But it's going to be a hard choice. I think I need a little bit down here on the drip. Still watching. Yay! Watching just quietly. Quietly and meditatively watching. B06. This is actually Peacock Blue. This is still going to be a pretty, this might not be light enough for cotton candy ice cream. Cotton candy is usually much lighter than this. I know because I eat that kind of ice cream. So we might have to put in a fourth color. You will for sure color the dragons with me. Yay! Oh, the dragons are so much fun. Okay, I'm going to pick another color to go in between this B52. I think... Let's really throw a wrench in it. Let's do BG15. Now, I didn't test these out, so I'm hoping they work. Can you hear Jack? making a lot of noise in his sleep. Look at that. That brightened it up a little bit. 
and we wanted it to brighten up. Ooh, that's gonna be so pretty. You're working on a stitch diamond dot? Oh, I didn't even know they had a stitch diamond dot. I usually do Hannah Lynn diamond dots because I like her artwork. B52, this is back and forth, you ready? Oh, that was disappointing. That wasn't as bright as I had hoped. I'm gonna do a background. I think, um, I haven't decided. I haven't decided what I'm doing with all of that yet. I think I'm gonna, I really wanted this to be brighter and that blue, that, while that blue is very pretty, it does not look cotton candy. So I'm gonna come in with that. I'm gonna throw a fluorescent on there. FBG2 over top and see if I can't brighten that up just a little bit. I think we're going to have to let it dry before you can actually see it. But. Ooh, 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 yum. Hi, Michelle. Look at our blue ice cream. Doesn't that look yummy? It looks yummy to me. All right. So I think we should have icing on the cake in that color too. Okay, so let's do the pink one next. So that is our 85, 83, and 81. Oh, you know what? I should throw in my favorite kink on this one too. So we'll throw, we'll do 85, 83, we'll throw that 42 in there and then come back to 81. Why not? Let's really play tonight. <gasps> Look at what I missed, that drip of ice cream. I'm going back to the drip. There we go. <laughs> Turn your tongue blue. Yes, it will. Okay, so this is our 85. Turn your tongue blue, just like Slurpees. You hear him, Dale? I'm not going to tell him to stop snoring tonight. I'm going to let him snore. R83. So this looks real bright, but it's about to be some peachy strawberry. V42. Here's where it's going to change it quite a bit. Oh, I like it. I say that every time I use this color. I know when I'm with Cooper and we eat that ice cream and stuff that turns our tongues blue, we stick them out so we can see what color our tongues are. We must look pretty silly sticking our tongues out at each other. But that's what's going to make me the fun, cool grandma. Look at that. That's very smooth, creamy ice cream. All right, so the next one is going to be our YG45, 41, and 11. So this one, because there's no ice cream on top of it, the top part, is, I'm not going to do the top part is with this cup, darkest shade. And then YG41 is the next one. Okay, let's 
The very little sucker. We only have three colors, so we definitely want to put a little bit of this at the top. And I'm going to put a little bit here, but I'm going to leave some of that white, that white along that area so I can use this YG11 to make it look like it's sticking out. I'm going to do some of that back and forth. Ooh, I like it. This one doesn't look like mint. It looks like a lime. Lime ice cream. <laughs> Hi, Marlene. So we're coloring this cute little people right here. And what I'm going to do now is switch to this one so we can do the cake and the icing. So we're going to give this one strawberry cake. We're going to make it the same colors as ice cream cones. So we'll make the cake strawberry and we'll make the middle part of it lime and then we'll make the icing cotton candy. What an imagination we have tonight. R85. This is going to be the cake. This is going to be it. Definitely be a strawberry. Pistachio. Oh, yes. That's right. I do like pistachio ice cream, too. I'm going to do a few little streaks in here to give the cake some texture. Okay, I am going to go ahead and fill out some more of this cake. I think I could do at least two of them. I don't want it to dry too much. So basically the reason I told you guys all about my sweet little puppy was because I thought he might start snoring. And he is. Okay. So this cake, I'm not going to put that weird uh, 42 in here because I think that's going to mess up the cake flavor. So we're just going to use 85, 83, and 81. Yum, yum, yum. Hi, Holly. Okay, so here we go. We're going to use the side of this brush to really saturate that paper so these will blend but still leave a few of the lines in there. You see how we did that? It still kind of looks like cake. So now we have to do that again with the rest of the cake. We're going to make these two girls match. So when we do the background, when we put them on the same one, I haven't decided if we're going to use pattern paper or draw a background. I might be here until 2 o'clock in the morning if I go draw backgrounds on all these. <clears throat> on Friday. What? I have a template you can use. <laughs> you do have a birthday template you've been working on that I could use. But that's not coloring the background, that's oxiding the background. Well, let's just go ahead and do the rest of this cake. It's so tiny, it'll be fine. There we go. 
Okay, and oh, R83 is next. See, I wasn't using my I wasn't using my little holder, and I almost used the wrong marker. So let's 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 make sure we're using that. Okay, R83 is next. That's one thing I really like about this holder is it keep, definitely keeps me in what spot I'm in. Oh yeah, he'll play with the, yeah, he plays with the inks and oxides as well. More oxides. He hasn't done as much alcohol inks with crafting, with paper crafting, but he's done alcohol inks with his cosplay. And airbrushing and all kinds of cool stuff. I have the whole, I have a whole airbrush system for Copics. I just, um, I just don't pull it out and use it as much as I should. I should show you guys how to do that sometime. It might be kind of fun. I don't use the aerosol can like they advertise with Copics. I have a pump. What's it called? Air compressor. An air compressor. My husband rigged me a setup so it was cheaper than the regular one. All right, so we're going to put some pistachio in here. YG 45, 41, and 11. He will attempt to try anything. He's tried the watercoloring. Um, he's tried the Copics. Not really his thing. Plus, I don't let him use mine that much, so that might be some of that. I'm not, I'm not a very nice sharer when it comes to my markers because I don't want to have to fill them because somebody else got to play with them. Although Jamie comes up here and I fill hers, so I don't really understand that, so maybe it is more that they're just mine. <laughs> But when he told me, he, he was like, you should teach me how to Copic color. And I was like, well, you're going to have to buy your own set of Copic markers. <laughs> so, yeah, that didn't go over well. Maybe I can start doing digital coloring. So he, he never did pick up Copic color. <laughs> he said, I'll just have you color it if I want it colored. <laughs> He does, he, right? He does do um, some digital coloring sometimes as well. I've seen him do some of that with my iPad. We do share an iPad. I'm nice and I share my iPad. I wanted it so bad the agreement was that if I got it we would share it. And so we do. In the beginning, it was a little frustrating because both of us wanted to play with it at the same time. But that doesn't really happen quite as much now, so. This green actually looks really good in the middle of the cake. I like it a lot. It's pretty. I kind of wonder if I should do the candle green as well. What do you guys think? Should I do the candle this same green color? I think it might look good that way. What you think? What you think? A little bit of back and forth here to keep those highlights in this icing, even though it's a very, very tiny area. Yep, you think so? I knew you would say yep, Mom, because you love green. So let's just roll with it. All right, here we go. Now we can't change our mind. It's a good combo. I probably would have never, if I'd have thought about it, like if I was trying to come up with what color I wanted to color these things, I doubt I would have come up with this color combo for this cake. But, if 
playing with the ice cream and then trying to keep them similar. It's sort of paying off here. There we go. That's a very cute little candle. All right, so now it's time to do the blue. And I think this time I'm gonna do the B37, B06. And let's see how it looks if I leave out the B52 and just do B37, 06, BG15, and FBG2. Let's try that. Because I think the 52 kind of dulled it down too much, so. I want to keep it bright and flashy. So here we go. Here we go, here we go now. You okay? So we're doing this bottom of this pricing. I want to do that fold area right there. And then we're going to do just a little bit right here where the icing and the cake meet. Hi Wanda. Let's do some more. Uh, let's go ahead and do all three of these layers. I think we can do them all at the same time. They're kind of small layers. And I'm just doing where the cake overlaps. Right there. And these edges that hang over. And then where the candle is. There we go. Alright, so B06 is going to be next. Right, so I want this to look really smooth, like really smooth icing. So we're going to use these colors kind of sparingly. Because I want to fit all of them in there. Is that fan blowing? On you or me? Us. Oh, what is my deal with hot flashes today? Okay. So that's not really all that impressive yet. But it will be when I get done. Okay, BG15. Look, everybody's hanging out here, but they're all really quiet. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Okay, so this one is going to bring in some very... I may need to put that B52 in here. So I'm not sure I want that <clears throat> cake all that... I mean, that icing all that bright. So I think I'm, I, I, I'm changing my mind. I'm bringing the B-52 back in. So I feel like that's going to be too light. I think it needs to be just a little bit um, darker because of the... Um, you see that little bug flying around my paper? That is really making me mad. Okay, I got a napkin. I'm going to get him next time. All right. Sorry about that. Back to the coloring. We were, again, cutting stencils tonight, so when we do that, we have to vent the machine outside. If you're listening. We have to vent the machine outside, so um, the window has to be open for the hose to go out the window to vent. Otherwise, oh, if we cut as many stencils as we did tonight without the window open, we'd be choking right now. 
Because this is my B-52. I think I might have to go back in with that dark color again. Unfortunately, this one isn't coming out as deep and dark as the, the, as the ice cream. I don't think I put as much of the second. I, think, I don't think I put enough B06 in there. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to step back to B06. And we're going to put more of that in here. I think we need that. More of that. We'll blend it out with the other colors, but we need to make it darker. It really does need to be darker. Would these be for the new release? Uh-huh. And some, uh, some out-of-stock stencils as well. So we have a lot of stencil printing we're it's doing. Mm-mm. We have that. We have... The, the new one. Oh, well, you might have already printed that one, but... Alright, this is looking better. Yep. So we sold out of a lot of stencils when we were at the last show, and since we have another show coming up, we're reprinting some of those ones that sold out. We had quite a few of them sell out, actually. So we're stocking up. I know. I love it when we sell out. And I love it when we have new stencils. So we're working on it. Now to finish blending this one out, I'm going to come in with the FBG2. That's just too long of a name. Back and forth to get this blue really blended out. Okay, I'm liking that a lot better. Sometimes, you, have, you know, you have to go back and forth and back and forth. If I haven't practiced these colors already, then I don't know how many layers or how much, and so I'm not, I have to back step. But that's how you learn, because you get to see real life. Then you know I'm real, because I just do the real thing. See how much better that looks? The what? Oh yeah, sure. Okay, so we're also 3D printing these. Do you guys know what these are? Oh yeah. It's a teal card stand. My husband found some teal PLA. Voila! Isn't that awesome? So he's printing those too so we can get those back in stock. But we haven't had teals in a long time, so there we go. And we also have teal honey balls coming out in teal. That's exciting, right? Oh, yeah. It's the only paper craft show in Washington. Mm-hmm. That's a very good thing. Is that where you're going next? Yep, that's where we're going next. But... So there, whenever we go to the show, there's a, like a Thursday make and take. Do you guys go to the ever go to the expo? I, I would assume that you guys probably do. Um, there's a Thursday night. I'm gonna do the candle next, same colors as last night. But there's a Thursday night make and take, and we've been doing that make and take. And um, you know that tells us how many people are prepaid for the make and take, which is really exciting and um, so we can usually tell if it's going to be like really big I mean I don't know how true telling it is but it at least gives us an idea of how many people we're going to be dealing with at the make and take so we're 300 and something at the last one I can't remember how many the Washington count is but the one after that I think they said like 450 <laughs> Now we were like, what? We thought 300 was like craziness. Okay, so R46, then y, y R18, Y R15, and Y13. I believe that was the flame color we used 
yesterday, so we have to use that one again today because we got a little candle right here. So this is 46. That's my favorite red. We kind of do the central part with that. Then YR18 keeps the bringing it to orange but keeps some of the red. Then our YR15 is way more orange. So we're going to bring that up the flame just a little bit more. It's going to start brightening up that flame. And then the Y13, but this time when we color, we're going to go from the top down. Instead of pulling, we're going to push back into that, that shade to blend those colors together. And that's going to give us a really cool flame. So that was easy. Hair lit. Oh yeah, there are a few independent swamps. That is true. They're wanting to come a lot more to the craft shows, which is great. I like going to the craft shows. Even when I'm not working the craft shows, I used to go to the craft shows every year. The Stamp and Scrap Expo. Okay, now we have clothes and shoes. My goodness, we have such pretty colors in there already. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't really want to throw any red in there. Oh, we could put some purple in there. Let's do that. No surprise. That didn't surprise you guys at all that I said that, did it? Oh, she wants to throw purple in there. Of course. Orange. Orange is a good one, too. Let's do that. Okay. I don't want to give them the same shirts and stuff, but I did want to keep the, I mean, it's a party, so you want to keep like the ice cream and cake close to the same, but their clothes don't have to be the same. So let's give one of them khaki pants, like this girl will give her khaki pants. And I'll do those with, oh, we could, shall we do her khaki and orange or khaki and purple? And then we could do blue jean and orange. Yeah, let's do that. Ha! I asked you and then I made the decision. Okay, so we're going to give this girl khaki pants. So I'm going to use the E44, 43, 42, and 41. And what I can tell you is that sometimes what takes me the longest to color is choosing what color I want to use. Especially when I'm trying to choose like with so much color in there. Okay, so we got, oh, and happy Cinco de Mayo to all of you. It was Cinco de Mayo day today. Or See, orange again, yay. Okay, so you think I should do khaki and orange. Maybe I'll do them both their pants, khaki. We had chips and queso for dinner in light of Cinco de Mayo. Oh, look, I missed a little blue on my cake. I have to get that. So I'm going to pull the B06 to do that with. There we go. All right. So I'm kind of just doing where the shaded areas are for these little khaki pants. two areas are next to each other. Thank you. Uh-huh. Like the pants and the, the cake. Are you critiquing me? No, no. In the middle that, of the that show? That shadow is called an occlusion shadow. Oh my gosh. We're not getting technical right now. And if you, if you want to talk and explain it, you have to talk louder than that so I can hear you. Thank you. Yes, yes. Did anyone else have Mexican food for dinner tonight? I went to the store after I dropped off Jack at the vet specifically to buy dinner food so we could have 
chips and queso. And I bought taquitos. You did. You agree with the khaki and orange? Alrighty then, khaki and orange it will be. These look a little dark, but they won't want it as long as I keep going. Oh, can you go check the dryer, please? I think you need to turn it up on again. I gotta make sure my jeans get dry. E42. Alright, I'm just kind of going along all the edges because there's only one more color to use. And I want to, this is more like my truer color. Super, super cute. Shall we give, so if she's going to have an orange shirt, shall we give her orange shoes or khaki shoes? What do you all think? Thank you, honey, for taking care of that for me. I'll fold them when I'm done. Alright, back and forth to blend that out. I'm going to have to do it more than once because we had that big line in there. Hi, Leah. Orange shoes. Alright, orange is the call. That is what we are going to do. Alrighty, there we go. So just twice, blend that out. I'm going to do it one more time right here, just to make sure that gets real nice and smooth. Hiya! Orange shoes, two for orange shoes. We're doing orange shoes then. This is a good one to do the orange shirt because she's got that flame in there too. Okay, so let's pull out the YR18 again and YR15. And we'll just do YR14 as well. We don't need more than three. We're good with that. All right, so here we go. Look, we're almost done with this girl. And then we just have to close on the other one, so we're rocking this tonight. You gotta give her a little bit of a figure there. I find that sometimes if I put these little, these little, like arrows in the waist, it kind of makes her look a little skinnier, or it does to me, and that's might just be all in my head. But okay. I'm going to touch down here on her shoes, since we're going to make those orange as well. Here we go. YR15. You can tell how shiny this marker is. Look how shiny these letters are, because I had to replace my YR15. So this is a new marker. <laughs> If you do it yourself, will it work? It might. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It might. <laughs> oh, the, did you know this stamp set's back in stock? It's what I've been doing last night's coloring was Cake is Life. 
and that one is back in stock and this one is back in stock and baby dragons are back in stock new diet tip draw lines on your waist and it'll work <laughs> actually i think you have to do more like a little belt or a little elastic kind of thing you know if you're taking a picture and you put your hand on your waist with your hand out like this around where your pockets are, it gives the appearance that you're skinnier. Cake is Life is fantastic. If you have a really good photographer, they'll know that and tell you to do that. Also, always take a picture down, like be above the person, and they look skinnier than if you take it going up. Just saying. I mean, I would know that. Because I am a photographer. Okay, so why are 14s our last color? Just to bring this orange together. Just one other talent I have. Is that I went to school and be a professional photographer. I just don't do it that much because I have trouble charging people that outrageous amount of money. Oh, 65 cards for a baby shower. What? Yeah, I've done that. I've done I've done that before. I did it for Haley's baby shower and all the decorations and all the good stuff. Thank you cards she never needs. <laughs> and I made all these thank you cards and she never mailed them out. Oh. So now I have like forty or fifty thank you baby thank you cards. <laughs> oh well. Right? I mean, the problem is when you're a professional photographer and you don't want to charge a lot of money for, but you want to, you know, charge some. And then what happens is then they think you're not any good because you don't charge as much as the people who are charging like 1500 to $25, 20 to 25 1500 to $2,500 to do a wedding, and then they think you're not good because you're not charging all that extra money. I just can't. Yep, that's what I always do, too. I always start start early, early, and then, mm -hmm. Yep, it's definitely more time than, than you get paid for, but I'm trying to make this just a little more pronounced. So we can show you guys what she else. took over a thousand photos and narrowed it down to 200. Yep. And that's what you got to do. Exactly. I, I usually don't do a wedding without taking less than 500 to 1,000 pictures. Still got yeah. Sometimes there still is a bridezilla who still is not happy. But so far, I've done fairly well. They're usually pretty happy. You didn't do that when you used film. <laughs> Six rolls of a wedding. Wow. Your sister was a bridezilla. <laughs> I never had a bridezilla as far as photography. I don't know which one. I don't know who you're talking about. The one where the mother hired you. Oh, she, the mu <laughs> the bride wasn't a bridezilla. The bride was married because the mom wanted all the pictures taken of her. Of the mom instead of the... <laughs> yeah, so it was a little... That one was a little challenging. But I love, I love doing them. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That is insane. So we have one girl done, and she is in orange. I wonder if we should do this one in orange, too. <gasps> oh. I miss doing it because it's just so much fun. Thank you. And when you have... When you have people who are just really appreciative and excited and 
you know, it, it's just a lot, a lot of fun. But some of the ones that I've done that I've had the most fun at, they were, um, they were not really ones I got hired for. They were ones that I said, can I practice at your wedding kind of thing? And they were really happy. Of course, they had another photographer, so they weren't worried about if it didn't work out. But There you go. Yeah, I've done some... Uh, well, if she wants to get out there and have fun, she should uh, just do cosplayers. <laughs> My hubby says there's money in doing cosplayer photos. Exactly. He says that they're always looking for photographers for that. But, like I always tell them... There's a lot of dude photograph dude photographers in cosplay. So you could really grab the girls because and the guys because they would they just want Look. Yeah, see? I bet you can make a lot on that. Also, you know, a lot of them go to the events. Yeah, you'll get all the girls because the dudes are gross. Um, you can go and just take pictures and hand out your card at the event. And then people will come and look at the photos you have. And then they'll buy them off your site if they like them. And that's how you can get more jobs. I just haven't had the time to do that, to commit to that. Because, you know, I'm coloring. I do Dale's cosplay stuff. Exactly. Exactly. So, I always do Dale's cosplay um, photo shoots as well. Hey, look, she's going to do nerdy stuff to sell the Comic Con model. Nice. Nice. I always buy nerdy stuff when I'm at the Comic Con. Last time I bought. Um, our last time we went to, was it Dallas Fan Expo, honey? Yeah. Um, I paid to get William Shatner's autograph from my brother, and I got to meet him. Yeah, with Zachary Levy. And then I just wanted to meet Zachary Levy, just because he was so cute, and I love that movie he did. That Shazam movie is so good. So I just wanted to meet him, and I was asking how much, and the lady goes, well, if you just want to meet him, come here. I'll let you meet him. And she introduced me to him, and I didn't even have to pay. And he was super-duper nice. And we joked a little bit, and then I went on my merry, happy way. Nathan Fillion. He's, I know who he is. You do? Yeah, he's, he looks like he'd be someone to me. Because I was like, I'm not sure I know who that is. E41. If you're really careful, you can sometimes see him walking around, too. If you're really lucky. I once saw a couple of the stars from Charmed. I usually just go by and gawk. I don't usually pay. But... For my brother's birthday, I really wanted to get him William Shatner, so I did it. I bit the bullet, and I did it. And there's like a little line on here. I think I'm going to need to use 42 to go back in here, because somehow I lightened that up too much. And I, I'm not liking it, so... Oh my gosh! That's unfortunate for sure. So, the first year that Dale entered the contest at the Dallas Comic Con, <laughs> we had so much fun. And he, was that what both of us won, Journeyman? Yeah. No, yeah. The first we're, one? We're, yeah, we're sisters. Sisters of Battle, and we won the Journeyman, which is like the intermediate group. And we were so, so excited. I mean, so excited. Yes, Dallas, it's, yes, it's huge. And um, 
I mean, we were so excited, but so exhausted. We had walked around all day and then did the contest, and it was late at night. And we went out, and we got in the car, and the car was the start. <laughs> the battery was dead on the car, and we were stuck in the parking lot, and we were tired, exhausted, and we just wanted something to drink. <laughs> it was terrible. What's that? She's Calgary, like, Alberta, Toronto, Vancouver have the largest ones. Maybe Montreal. Yeah. And you know, yeah, it was pretty, it's pretty funny now. It wasn't funny then. Here's back to my YR18 for the orange shirt. But uh, is Toronto the one that you get to? Okay, so if, if Dale were to win best in show at the Dallas uh, con, then um, he gets... The one who wins best in show gets tickets to the Toronto show. He gets tickets and airfare and what else do you get? You get ticket hotel. Ticket hotel and, show. and the show and airfare to attend the contest in Toronto. Wouldn't that be super cool? It is cool. Here's the here's the real kicker though, right? This will be the year he wins because I can't even go because we have a show that weekend and we have a um we have a expo that weekend that the Toronto show is. So this will be the one he wins because, you know, that would suck. Yeah, boo. I still want him to win, though. <laughs> YR15. Yeah, these are really good orange colors. I used to use that YR09 and 7 and stuff, but I like this one so much better. You're doing your best to get to Schaumburg? Yeah, we'll be there. Oh, okay, hold on. I'll show you what the rest of this set looks like. They're so cute. The, I love this set so much, and they're so fun to color. So there's another girl on here that I like a super duper lot. Okay, so there's this little girl with the package, and it says, It's your birthday. Let's set fire to baked goods and sing happy birthday off key while you sit there awkwardly. And then it says, At least we're not as... At least you're not as old as you'll be next year. And then you get a cupcake, and you get this is the girl that we colored earlier, and this is the one we're coloring now. You get an extra candle. You get it. It is all just numbers. Happy 29th birthday. And this girl, isn't she cute? I know. They're so super cute. This is a really good set for sure. Alright, so we're going to have them in the same color clothes. They're going to be like Twinkies. He celebrated your 29th on the 10th. I celebrate my 29th every year. <laughs> YR14. Dale and I always celebrate our birthdays at the Dallas Con because they're always, at, they're always on either my birthday or his birthday. Never fails. They seem to be really good at pegging that show for our birthday. Alrighty. Look at that. Two sweet girls in orange and yeah. khaki. They hold it on uh, our birthday and then our anniversary. All <laughs> night long? <laughs> yep, when you turn 40, huh? That might be a long time from now, huh? If you're only 20, we got to wait 20 years for that. I might be dead by then. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just really old. Now that you're 40, no thanks. <laughs> yeah. I'm old. Old, old. No, but seriously. I only feel like I'm about 27, so let's just say that. <laughs> right? I'm never going to have white. I'm never going to have gray hair. 
it's either going to be purple or red. Look at these girls. They're so cute. Looks like I had a sparkle on her eye. <laughs> You're answering me. Okay, so these are the two girls we have. Pink. It's, you're going to love it. Okay, so these are the two girls we have for tonight. If you like that, look at this. These are the two we had last night. We did these two last night. So if you missed this live, you can check it up. Check it out. It's on YouTube and Facebook from yesterday. Um, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a card with them on Friday. So Friday I'm going to color baby dragons and I'm going to make cards out of these. Four that we've already done and then also with however many baby dragons I color. I haven't decided but you know I could color a ton of baby dragons. Where are my baby dragons? I think they flew away when I wasn't looking. Do you see them? They were right here on my desk, honey. Well, I was going to show you the baby dragons, but I don't know what happened to them. They just flew away. Oh, here they are. They're sitting on the windowsill behind me. Okay, so there's the baby dragons. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Oh, wrong way. So there's the sweet and wonderful baby dragons. We have stamps and dies in the shop now. So, but I think I'm gonna color this baby dragon. I think this is my, I'm struggling. This is my, I think this is my favorite baby dragon to color, but I really like, I like them all, but I like this one too. But this one, when I'm when I'm actually coloring them, this one's my favorite. I think it's the eyes. So I can make the eyes so pretty and they're so big. So I think that's why that's my favorite one coloring. But this one I like to color because I get to color the inside of the wings. And they're so super duper cute. I'll give you a sneak peek of them in purple and green. Here, look. Okay. Yes, there's baby dragon die cuts. I have yours, Mama. I believe I still have them in your package. You need to come pick up. Woo -woo. You can tell I like to color the baby dragons. I already colored them once, but this is the packaging coloring for the packaging. Hey, where'd my other baby dragon go? Did he fly away too? He was right here on my desk. I don't know where he went. But I do have the last one colored in the same color combo. He's purple. Oh, here he is. He's purple like that one. There you go. So there's the baby dragons. They have die cuts now, so they'll be a lot easier to cut out. And see those eyes? Oh, those eyes. Super duper cute. So we will not be coloring them purple and green. We will be choosing different colors tomorrow for the baby dragons. All right. So tomorrow night, baby dragons, this one for sure. Maybe that one too. So you might want, if you're going to color with me, you might want to stamp those two just so you have them. I have a ton already stamped out. <laughs> and then... Well, when we're done with that, I'll have all these cut out and ready to go and all of the stuff that I want to do with them, like whatever card bases and things like that, I'll have them already prepped so that we can put together these cards for these guys as well as the baby dragon. Right? So tomorrow, baby dragons and cards for these. So you guys have a very nice evening. I'm going to go hold my baby puppy so he will maybe feel better. And I will see you guys same time tomorrow, 10 p.m. Central. 
if you if anybody's watching this on the YouTube replay, make sure you like and subscribe. And then I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good evening.